All right, here we are back again. I got some chicken pot pie casserole for you. Over here, I have some thyme and parsley chopped up, butter, pepper, salt, peas and carrots, corn. Over here, I have like two chopped up, already cooked chicken. I have two stalks of celery, three carrots chopped up, small onion, and a little bit of garlic, uh, jumbo biscuits, chicken stock, flour, one egg, and half and half. All right, here we go. I'm gonna set the oven here to 350. All right, I'm gonna begin by starting on melting this butter. All right, so we're gonna throw in our veggies right here. I have the celery, onion, and carrots, and a little bit of garlic. I have about two cloves of garlic. All right, so we're just gonna cook the veggies here for a few minutes. I would say about five to six minutes until everything's nice and tender. All right, so now we're gonna take this can of corn and we're gonna go ahead and add it to our dish. I'm just gonna use probably about a little bit more than half of the can and we're gonna stir everything together. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my peas and carrot mixture and pour that in. And we're gonna mix everything with the parsley and thyme as well. By now you should be smelling everything and your whole kitchen should be smelling amazing at this point. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take this flour. It's about a quarter cup. We're gonna go ahead and mix this with our veggies and it's gonna probably be about two minutes that we're mixing everything together. And I usually mix it consistently so the pan doesn't get burned. And all of the veggies, you have to make sure everything is coated with it. All right, now that it's been a couple minutes, we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken broth and make sure you're whisking it in and you're just adding it little by little. Make sure you're getting the bottom of the pan because some of the flour actually sticks to the bottom and just mix it in with your veggies. Okay, so now we're gonna take about a cup of our half and half and whisk it in little by little to our mixture. Make sure you're getting the bottom of the pan so that everything is mixed in properly.
All right, now we are actually ready to add in our salt and pepper. So I'm gonna add in, I'm gonna start off with two tablespoons of salt, and then I'm going to add in one tablespoon of pepper. Okay, now I'm just gonna get a spoon to taste test this. And I do need a little bit of more salt and pepper, so I'm just gonna add about a half a tablespoon each. All right, I'm just gonna test it one last time. And it's perfect. All right, now we are ready to add in our pre-cooked chicken. And we're just gonna mix this all together. Make sure everything is coated perfectly and everything is mixed through. Okay, now just so you guys know, um, this is what your dish should be looking like so far. All right, go ahead and take your mixture and pour it in a nine by 13 pan. Now what we're gonna do is take our egg and we're gonna take the, the yolk only um, just dump out the egg whites and we're just going to prepare everything for our biscuits. All right, now we're going to take our biscuits in this can. You can get the Pillsbury or I just bought this one because it was on sale. And we're just going to take it all out and just spread it out on our dish evenly. All right, now we're gonna take our mixture of our egg yolk, and there's a little bit of water in it, probably about a tablespoon of water, and we're gonna take our brush and brush the top and little bits of the side with this egg yolk mixture, and we're gonna make sure to do this on every single biscuit that we have. Okay, make sure you set your oven to 350 for 20 minutes. And this is what it should look like when it's finished. Everything smells amazing, guys. I can't wait for you to try this. It turned out great. Okay guys, I am so ready to dig into this dish. I'm so tired of smelling how amazing my kitchen is. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of each, the biscuit, 
the chicken mixture, the corn, the peas, the carrots, the thyme. You can smell it all. Let's dig in. Wow, that is amazing. If you want a great homestyle dish, this is definitely it. Well, guys, please try this dish. I highly recommend. Like and subscribe, and please look out for more videos. Thanks for watching.